Hello friends and welcome back for episode 21 of our Terraria 1.3 Let's Play. We are now in what is known as hard mode, where, well, as you can probably guess by the name, things are harder. Uh, we kind of start a new progression, new evolution of progression, in fact, and what we'll be doing from this point on, if you're not familiar, is we'll be looking for Crimson Altars uh, in order to break those and cause new ores to spawn. So there's actually a set of three different tiers of new ore, and each time we break an altar, it'll start one in the sequence of those three to spawn. After we get to the third one, it will reset and go back to the first again. And I think we get four, three or four rounds of those three going in circles before then breaking altars then no longer causes as many ore to spawn in the world. Uh, so our goal is to go find those altars, hit them, and then go find the stuff that comes out of them uh, wherever they happen to show up in the world. And it seems to have started raining just now, so <laughs> maybe a bit of a dark cloud following us around, but that's okay. Uh, first thing, though, let's look in our inventory, because as a matter of fact, I happen to have found this rash cross necklace as I was just sort of meandering about. Uh, I don't remember what I was doing, just sort of looking for something. And as it turns out, there was a mimic. Basically, it looks like a golden chest that as you approach it, it starts to gnash its teeth at you. And it's very, very difficult at this point in the game, in fact. Uh, we're very underpowered again, as it turns out. So we're going to have to really step up our game and do our best not to die. Uh, I think we'll actually, honestly, we'll be okay. But I'm just saying, uh, we got to be aware that there are areas now that we used to go to that weren't so bad that all of a sudden are pretty bad again. Uh, so our weapons are all underpowered and such. We'll figure it out, though. Uh, first thing we want to do is we'll head down below. Oh, noting, by the way, that I've dyed my cape because I thought that would be kind of a good touch. And there are actually a couple of Crimson Altars sitting right here, which we will go ahead and indulge in. Uh, actually, I was just scoping out. Somebody said in the comments on the last episode, were the two under your house the ones you were thinking of? Maybe they were? But I thought they were, like, directly under my house. Well, they are, but not, like, this far down. I thought they were in that little cavernous space right below uh, my chest area. Anyway, let's pop these open. We need to use the, the pwn ham hammer, or own hammer, whatever you prefer to say. And your world has been blessed with cobalt. There we go. Be gone, evil. And we'll leave the other one there because there's actually some crafting uses for these, and I'd like to have one that's this close to my house just for convenience sake. Uh, luckily enough, we don't have to go very far to find another set because, for whatever reason, two more of them have spawned, like, right over here. So we're actually just going to pomp our way up. Oh look, some wraiths have spawned. This actually happens when you pop open those altars uh, every so often, I believe. A couple of wraiths, maybe every single time you break them open, a couple of wraiths spawn. As you can see, they did a ton of damage to me. And we've got to be aware of that kind of thing, because very quickly will it eat up all of the damage we're able to take. Also, if you happen to wander into the realm of one of those mimics, you should always try and kill it, because... Oh god, that's the wrong hammer for what I'm trying to do. It almost got me killed there. Uh, the Mimics also drop a ton of gold. Oh, there we go. Orich Alchem, there's our second level. And Adamantite is our third level. Okay, so we've gone firmly with the... I believe it's the alternate three ores. I can't remember if it's Cobalt that's the, the alternate or not, but the other two I'm pretty sure are. Uh, meaning alternate as in not the original group of three that happened in like 1.2, I think it was. 1.1 or 2, I don't remember now where the patches uh, put things. Let's just get rid of these wraiths so we don't have to worry about them following us around quietly in the darkness, creeping on us and all that. Stalking our moms. Anyway, those are the ones that I knew about. Let us go back to our house very quickly, and what we'll do is we'll actually... We'll head over to the crimson that I know about over on the left, because it's not that far away. And uh, we'll go ahead and break a couple more over there. Then we'll go scope out the crimson on the right, go maybe break a couple more over there. I don't know if there are uh, altars on all of them. I'm going to hope there are. And uh, we'll see about maybe then popping a spelunker potion, then going down the elevator, seeing if there's any really readily accessible chunks of ore. The larger the better, of course. I'm using my grappling hook here to make a little bit of extra horizontal momentum whenever possible. Uh, thank you also for letting me know in the comments about how to craft the boss summon item for uh, our friend the King Slime, who I would absolutely love to fight at some point, and I probably will, uh, if only just for the chance that whatever odd drops show up. Uh, the other thing I'm thinking about doing in the future, and maybe this is a dumb idea, I'm not entirely sure yet, you can give me your feedback of course if you're interested. Uh, I'm pretty sure I know what you're going to say though, but 
Uh, maybe after I get to a certain point in progression in this version, I'll open up a new world and expert and bring my character over. That way I can sort of make quick work of some of the harder bosses and it won't be as frustrating. And then I can get some of the sweet drops that happen from the expert mode. Uh, boss sacks, or item sacks, whatever you call them. Oh, there's actually a whole bunch of cobalt like right there sitting in the ceiling. Alright, first let's dispatch of this pancake. That seems to want to uh, stack our death in it. Uh, there wasn't quite a joke there. I tried. Let's just go up here, actually, and break these, and then we'll go deal with that. Oh, wrong, wrong option. Uh, we'll get the cobalt in just a second. Uh, so we want to get the cobalt stuff. That allows us to make a, p a pick that we can then mine Auric Chalcum with, and then, you know, lastly, Adamantite from the Auric Chalcum. Uh, Auric Chalcum is pink, cobalt is blue, Adamantite is reddish orange, if I remember correctly. There's, like, a lot of ores in this game. It's pretty easy for me to get confused. Uh, but thankfully, we don't have to worry too much because having potions that allow us quick access to this information kind of takes some of the guesswork out of things. And also, I can't wait to get a better pick because now this feels very slow. All right, there we go. Cobalt or Chalcum. I feel vibrations from deep below. What does that mean? Is that just it summoning the race or is there more to it than that? That'd be sweet if it could, like, summon the Eater of Worlds or something right now. What was... Did something just jump? Oh, it's that grubby right there that I didn't see. Alright, well, I'd like to maybe net that if possible, just because I'd like to catch more fishing stuff. I know I can make that, like, grub soup out of it, though, which is just, like, super gross. I don't really have any <laughs> desire to eat any grub soup. I know it's just for a stat bonus, but... Um, it was actually quite entertaining. You guys were having a, a spirited discussion in the comments about what the best ways of getting the well-fed health bonus... Uh, buff would be oh this is a nice chunk of cobalt actually to start us off here this is usually not quite as large as this uh, but yeah the general thing was like hey why don't you make this grub soup and it's like well it gives you a small stat bonus for x amount of minutes of time i don't remember what was said exactly uh, but after that, then people are like, well, yeah, but what if you're gonna do that? Why don't you just catch fish and cook them? Or why don't you just get pumpkin seeds? And it's like, well, they're all valid. It's just kind of based on what you happen to want to do at the moment, I suppose. Uh, I think at some point I'll probably plant a bunch of pumpkins, because there's actually a bunch of reasons that I would want to have those for crafting. Uh, there's actually, like, a boss summon that I think I need pumpkins for the, the jack-o'-lantern to make the pumpkin moon. Um, I, I'm probably going to do those a little out of order this time. Just because those events were super hard uh, and kind of frustrating last time when I did them in the last Let's Play. So what I'll probably do is maybe go a bit ahead gear-wise and then come back. I will try and do every boss though, so don't get me wrong. I'm not going to skip stuff like just skip it outright and not come back. Uh, I just might want to take a bit of a more measured approach so that way I make sure I have you know, the right stuff to make sure that I'm not stuck for very long. Uh, all right, let's go grab maybe some more of this cobalt over here. Certainly not a place that I expected to find a bunch of ore spawning. Really figured I would have to go down into the elevator for it, but, you know, I'm not gonna look a gift cobalt in the mouth. That means, uh, if you weren't aware of that idiom, it's like when people exchanged horses as gifts back in the day, if somebody's gonna give you a gift of a horse, don't, like, challenge whether it's a good horse or a bad horse. I guess you could kind of take that idiom to the extreme, though. What if somebody gifted you a, a horse with a broken leg? It's like, basically, in that business transaction, instead of them giving you a gift, they actually took a, a pair of shotgun shells and a little bit of empathy from you. <laughs> it's like, it's a, it's a pretty bad deal, all in all. Uh, but still, you know, you don't have to look in their mouth to see if their leg is broken. They'll, they'll not, not be uh, doing very well on the way over. That's just a whole... That's a sad story, that whole horse story I just told you. Not really into that story. Anyway, where did the rest of these altars go? I thought there were more around here. Maybe I'm just mistaken. Now let's just kind of peek our head in this area. Yeah, that doesn't go anywhere. This is just more jungle world. What about below here? Any... I'll also accept ore if you have any ore that's available. It'd be sweet if we could just, like, skip ahead somehow in the ore progression, but I don't think that's possible. Hey, there's, like, new types of piranhas that'll come and bite my butt. Uh, yeah, I don't think since I can't get the right pickaxe in the right moment, like, I don't think I can skip ahead to just get to the Orichalcum. Oh, those turtles are death incarnate, by the way. If you're not familiar, avoid them until you have a little bit better uh, DPS capabilities. These guys are, like... 
not that bad. Uh, oh, whoa, I fell really far there. I did not expect to fall that far. I just gotta watch out, because these turtles, they have a death wish, wish as much as they want to kill me. So they'll just come right after me. They don't care. They'll fall on my head. Uh, and they will just basically do whatever they can to disrupt whatever happiness that I can try to eke out in this crazy world. Uh, I don't like this positioning. Why don't you guys pop up a little bit? Yeah, possessed armor, let's just deal with you first. Oh, now we gotta get a freaking wasp in the mix, too. Well, at least we're lighting it on fire pretty effectively. I think this is maybe a bad place for me to be at this moment. Hard mode jungle, nothing to laugh at. I don't know what I should be doing right now. There aren't any more altars that I noticed there. So I guess let's... Oh, crap, I'm gonna die. Get, get to wherever it's safe. There's probably something bad in this water, but very quickly. Grab that, switch that, do that, and we lived. Fantastaroo. Let's go up here, talk to you, heal up, and we got 77 cobalt ore. Let's see if we can go make a cobalt pickaxe already out of it. That way, we don't even have to necessarily jump into that armor set. Uh, hopefully, I can craft cobalt. Yeah, okay. I know, I think the second level requires you to have a new forge, or a, a new oven, or whatever, the this thing right here, the hell forge, to be able to get into that level. Uh, there we go. Cobalt pickaxe takes 15. Acceptable. And, well, it's not gonna be a godly pickaxe anymore, but that's okay. Let's go drop this off in our old gear. Uh, old gear number two. I forget that I do this in a radiating pattern in the wrong direction. Um, and we've got a bunch more stuff here that I think I'll just drop off into the chests. Let's just do one of these. Grubby can go over here. And we'll actually just drop the rest of these bars right about here. I don't know where this positioning's gonna take me. So I left, like, open spots up here. That way I could do the... So this is, like, one progression... Oh, why did this end up there? That's not where that's meant to be. Uh, so it goes, like, what is it? Copper... Copper, iron, silver, gold, and then this is the progression that we're given on our side, uh, which is the uh, uh, tin, lead, tungsten, platinum, crimtain, uh, and this is where corruption, demonite would be. Meteorite crosses over, so that would be in both, and then hellstone crosses over as well. Then, you know, we've got another set of three bars here, which would actually mirror nicely on top. Anyway, I don't know why I'm explaining all this stuff, but... You know, it's worth it to know that there's a lot more going on uh, bar-wise than is obvious at the very first glance. So I'll have to figure out a way to restructure uh, all of my stuff to accommodate that properly. Alright, good. I think we've got everything we need to do with that. This uh, space gun at this point is probably going to be very ineffective. I don't know why I'm leaving it, honestly, in my, uh, my inventory, but just in case, I guess. In case I need a long-range weapon. I found out that it's apparently a pretty good idea, and correct me if I'm wrong on this one, but it's apparently a pretty good idea to kind of mow the grass every so often in your world, just because uh, this kind of roughage, this foliage that shows up all of these items, uh, might impinge on the ability of strange plants to spawn into your world. And obviously we want to make sure we have as many of those as possible. Oh, this guy right here, Angry Nimbus, he's a real problem for me. He'll rain, rain on my parade. So we're going to make sure he's dead. And he might drop a really sweet... Oh my god, he dropped it on the first kill. That's so rare. Guys, the luck is crazy. I will show you what that does in just a second. I'm just gonna get rid of this eyeball here, and this wraith apparently as well. Yeah, see, I'm taking quite a bit of damage here. So, what this Nimbus Rod does, and this is great for stacking DPS on enemies that are reasonably stationary, and hopefully we can get to a spot with some light. It'll put a rain cloud... Ooh, wrong button. Put a rain cloud right there, and it'll rain some uh, some death onto our foes. So we can actually put, I think, two of those out at a time. And if we position them just right for certain enemies, this actually is like a fantastic bit of uh, dot damage or damage over time that'll just build up and add to whatever normal DPS that we're doing. So all in all, a fantastic grab, especially so early in hard mode. That'll help out with pretty much every boss from here on out. Maybe some a little bit more than others, but still. Uh, again, I'm not going to look look a gift cloud in the cloud. <laughs> I don't know really what kind of mouths clouds have these days. Uh, probably not much in the way of that. Keeping my eyes open, of course, for strange plants as we go uh, and mow. Mow and go. We're a mow and go company. Kind of a, you know, 
jump and bump, hump and dump, all of that stuff. Anyway, here we go. Um, nothing, nothing here. I really need a light source buddy for these darkened areas. I'm sure you guys would appreciate it as much as I would. Also, good to mow the grass just because... Oh, is that a baby strange plant? I don't know what they look like when they're small. It might just be a hollowed tree. I'll leave it alone. Probably wouldn't have given me the payout anyway if it was a baby one. Oh, we got a dangerous laser over here. But yeah, it's also good to mow the grass just because occasionally you'll run into other dye opportunities, things that maybe you didn't even think about, and it'll become obvious which ones are the ones that you're going to want to go after because your sword won't be able to break them. So if you just see a bunch of plants just sitting there, they look kind of special or different or interesting for whatever reason, those are the ones you'll obviously want to be chasing down. Um, we're also grabbing these uh, shiver thorns. I keep wanting to call them frost leaf. They're really not the correct name for those. Oh, we got some seeds for them too. We can have our own little garden. If we so desire. This uh, run over to our crimson on the right is apparently quite a long jog. I keep thinking off the top of my head because I can walk on top of the water that I can like plant torches on top of the water as well. That's That doesn't make any rational sense. It's just... I kind of imagine that because I can walk on it, it means that there's a bridge over it too. It's not the way that actually works. Alright, here's our crimson. Here's one of the two entrances, I believe, that we've got to this side of things. I would like to break, you know, as many as maybe 10 or 15 of these altars, just to maximize my chances of good ore, if possible. And since we're delving down a little bit into the ground here, it never hurt. Just to take a quick peek, see if there's anything directly underneath us. Of course, any ore that happens to spawn in the walls or ceiling is also fair game. The altars tend to really like to spawn in these little gaps sort of outside of uh, where your visibility goes. It's nice, though, since we've got this sword that drops these little ashes or bits of ember everywhere. See, there's one right there. Uh, it's quite handy. We can actually see pretty well into the ground. Well, not pretty well, but a little bit well. And uh, that's going to give us a little bit of insight. But, of course, these things glow as it is. So I guess there is that to be considered as well. It's not really that hard to see them anyway. All right, there we go. Second level adamantite. Watch out for pancakes. This guy is, is right on top of me. Of course, pancakes. I don't know why they're so mad. What do they got? They have it in their head maybe that I'm like more of a waffle fan. It's not my thing. It's not my bag, baby. What is... Oh yeah, there's a crystal heart right there. As well as something next to it that I didn't quite get a good look at. I don't really want to go digging up into there for the crystal heart. It's not really necessary. I will dig for whatever I just saw up there. There was an altar, right? Altered beast. Hold on. Let's just look down here real quick, and then we'll go back in the other direction if need be. I don't think there's any reasons to fight the brain boss ever again, right? I think I got all the spawns from that that are necessary. All right, we'll go grab that bit of cobalt here. May not be super useful since we've already got the pickaxe. I'm probably not going to bother with the armor for it, so... Oh, that's tin. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I'm grabbing it anyway. All right, let's put one of those up there. Look at that! It actually ate right through its health. I didn't even have to attack them, really. I mean, I did, but I didn't really have to. And it looks like nothing down there. We'll make sure we grab that one on the way back out. It was just apparently at an awkward position where I didn't want to go after it. And I think that's all she wrote for this area. Uh, thankfully, there's one more little crimson enclave a little bit over to the right that we're going to go investigate in a bit. Yeah, I guess we'll just dig down. It's a lot quicker that way than trying to dig up and around. Digging up is always a bit awkward. You end up with this positioning where you're, like, stuck to the ceiling and you're not really sure if you're going to fall every other time. Uh, you know, having two hooks is great to help you with that, but still, it's pretty easy to fall off of stuff. And so that'll put us at Cobalt again. Okay. Oh, and there's another one in the wall there. So I may as well go after that one as well. Since it's not super far away, and I know I've got one altar at least near my house that's nice and convenient for crafting. What is that in the ceiling there? Probably iron or something, or uh, lead. Oh, there's a couple here. Fantastic. Yeah, it's iron. Alright, let's grab our sword, make sure this guy stays nice and far away. Please die. Thank you very much. Did it drop its money, like, far <laughs> into the ceiling where I can never reach it? They don't usually do that, right? 
Alright, and one more set of Adamantite, and I think I'll actually be pretty happy with that level of rotation if we can get to it. I mean, it's always better to hit as many as possible, but I think we'll get the job done now. There we go. Oh, is there... I think there's even more over there. Okay, we found the mother load then. I guess I may as well keep going. I was going to be content to call it a day if there weren't more, but there are. And it's not like there's a huge massive barrier in the way of us getting to it either. Just put a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And a little bit of this guy in my way. A little bit of Monica in my life, a little bit of Rita is all I need. You know the story. The Lubega Tango Mambo number 5. Tango number 5? That would be a whole separate genre. It goes in... And I'm done with doing the Mambos, guys. I've moved into the Tango region of things, so uh, we're going to have to come up with a whole new list of ladies' names if we're going to do this properly. Uh, I, I trust that you guys will have something on my desk by the morning. I'm imagining that Lou Bega now has this, like, oh my god, I've hit the actual mother load of altars. I've never seen this many in one spot before. Uh, but I'm imagining he's got this, like, this desk office job where his, he's got, like, a, a crew of dudes that's at, like, responsible for coming up with ladies' names that he can use in his songs. As if they're so hard to think of on his own. Alright, that was pretty successful, what just happened there. What is this? Tungsten, okay. In very small quantities, tungsten is a very confusing looking material. Uh, oh my god. Alright, Wraiths, get ready, because you're about to get your socks rocked off by my big flaming saber. Yep. Knockback for the, uh, the win, I suppose? People don't really say that anymore, right? That was kind of like a 2003 thing. I'm just an old grandpa in internet years, it seems. Uh, and I guess, you know, one more for the road. What's the harm, really? Also, whatever this little octopus uh, squid thing, whatever this uh, jellyfish. I don't know, all of those blood jelly. Okay, that's what it is. Seems to be broken. Uh, okay, well, I couldn't seem to hit it for a bit, but now we have. Fantastic. You know what's amazing is, honestly, for the amount of weird stuff that this game can do. I mean, it's procedurally generated, it's massive, it's got a ton of content. There's surprisingly few bugs, in my opinion. I mean, I've run into a few, and they, they patch them very readily. Uh, they've had a lot of updates already since this has come out. They seem very, very happy with doing the very best they can to make sure that this is as working as possible, and I really appreciate that. But, uh, it, you know, I've heard from a few people maybe the game crashes on occasion. I've, I don't think I've ever run into a crash in Terraria before. So I'm very impressed. Development team for Terraria. Upstanding bunch of chaps. Alright, let's maybe get out of here. I don't think we really need much more in the way of breaking altars. I don't think there are any more right next to us, so... Is there... Yeah, there's one more crimson area over here. I guess we'll just leave that one undisturbed at the moment. And we'll do what I was planning on doing from the beginning, which is see if I've got a Spelunker potion in here, and I think I do, right? Oh, yep, there's a ton of them, actually, so we'll drop one of these in there. Uh, actually, what would be the most useful thing for me to take out of my inventory right now? Probably not going to be using the Flaming Axe for the moment, but alright, that's fine. And we'll just pop one of these, and we'll do, uh, just go do a little bit of searching real quick. Oh yeah, look at all of that stuff. So I can't tell quickly by looking at these what I need to grab and what I don't. See, that's like a lot of cobalt as far as I can tell. But I might not want cobalt. I might want to just go for the next level and skip cobalt mostly. It's just, it's so hard for me to turn down a big chunk like this. I have enough Splunker potions that I shouldn't really worry. Let's just make do. Grab what we can. Everything's fine. So if I go straight to the Aura Chalcum armor, well, I'm obviously going to have to make a pick first, so that's my number one priority. Then we're going to go to the armor. If it takes too long for me to find enough to actually get the job done, maybe then I'll go and make the Cobalt armor if I have enough stuff, which I don't think I'm going to uh, based on what my plan is right now, but, you know, it's just something to keep in mind. Also, I don't want to waste this whole potion on just... Oh god, there's a... There's a hole there, I didn't expect that. There's a hole in my bucket, Eliza. See, if I had a light friend to help me out, then maybe I'd be able to see a little better. Oh, that's so much more. Alright, I've taken note that it is there. 
That'd be sweet, actually, if it marked it on your map. Is this Sword Chalcum or is this Adamantite? Yeah, Sword Chalcum. Alright, so we're looking for orange. Orangey red. Burnt umber, ember. What's the word? Yeah, one of those two. Who cares? But this won't take too long before we're able to get to the pickaxe that we're needed to have. I'm hoping if we just head all the way down, like towards the very bottom level or so, there's usually a whole bunch of crystal areas. And then we'll find our level 3, or probably right about before or near hell. <clears throat> and what I found to be quite handy to do... Oh, hello wizard. I found the wizard! He sells the crystal ball, and now I can actually get uh, what I needed to do, which uh, we needed to get the... What is that? Empty dropperings? A dropper. That's savings behind it. Uh, this will allow me to make that infinite quiver I was talking about, which is great if I want to use my deadly hellwing bow in the future. He also sells spell tomes to make uh, crafted spells. Ice rod, which summons blocks of ice. I don't really have any use for that. It's 50 gold, too. Uh, bell, harp, these do things that I don't remember. They're, I think, for item synthesis. But yeah, hopefully he'll move in real soon, and then we can go hang out with him. Uh, that's iron. I'm gonna grab a wall real quick to reset my jumps. Nothing around here. A little bit more adamantite in this wall. It's a little far away, but... Or, not adamantite, uh, or chalcum. I said it again. I think I'm gonna go after it anyway. Quite lucky that he just spawned so readily, just kind of sitting there for me. I didn't have to do any looking whatsoever. And what is that weird item next to it? Is that just like a strange nugget of another type of ore that I'm not familiar with? I'm not used to the positioning looking like that. Oh, there we go. We can actually see with some proper light how pink it is. I was starting to get used to it through the Spelunker Vision goggles that make everything sort of a yellowy hue. Alright, there we go. So that's actually the reality of the situation. It's more of a pinkish purple. And what are you? Oh, I broke it. Whatever it is, I killed it. I should have probably seen it with light before I killed it. I don't think it was anything. Oh god. Oh, you know what I bet it was? I bet it was a spider sack. And I bet this is a spider nightmare zone. Pretty sure that's the case. Get a, uh... Oh, okay, it's a real small one if it is. There's actually another one glowing over there. Why does it keep showing me all of these? Is there a drop from them, maybe? I should probably go investigate, right? Oh, I love this part right here. Alright, that's enough. All the spider stuff has to go. Goodbye. Thank you for coming. All right, goodbye. Let's go. Let's go up there. Let's check this out. Get a little bit of light on the situation. Oh yeah, there's the spiders from Nightmare World. Oh god, heal! I think I just panic spammed all the buttons except for H. I hit so many buttons, none of them were the correct one. Fair enough. I guess I kind of had that coming. I did not really handle that very well, to be honest. Let's grab another Spelunker Potion or two. Throw that up there. And we should be well equipped to do what we need to do. Can we actually make, just from that little bit... Oh, right, I need the... No, I don't. I thought I needed the bar, the forge, to do that. I guess not. Alright, I'm actually pretty close to needing as... Or having as many as I needed already. I think we'll just do this for the time being. Might not be the neatest solution, but now I can at least sort things into the position that I want them to be in. The amber really looks like a taco to me. Is it just me? Am I crazy? So you want some tacos there? That's kind of what that's all about. And yeah, let's just do that. Again, we'll wait until we get a little further down. I have to remember not to break that by accident. Getting too excited about it. It's like, why didn't I break this? Oh yeah, that's why. And I hope I have enough to make a few more torches, which I do. I don't remember which day it was, but there was one time I, after finished recording, I went and I grabbed, like, a ton of wood, and then I reseeded wood all over the place. Just to make sure that, you know, I had a steady supply of the stuff that I needed. Uh, wood is apparently, you know, surprisingly important. Uh, maybe not surprisingly, in fact, because, well, you use it from the very beginning to the very end of the game. Um, so where... where's the spider coming from? I would like to know that I have an out. If we're gonna do this dance of death. 
I'll take my gold back as well. Oh, I broke it again and it gave me a bomb. I think it's like those dead bodies that the spiders fill with. It's like icky spider juice. Yeah, they're like people that have gotten face crawlered to death. Oh, okay. I didn't expect this to be quite this open. Oh, scary traps. Alright, I think I took advantage of that scary trap. It seems to have killed something that was in the way there. Probably some spiders, to be honest. Okay, a bunch more cobalt. Looks like we've got a mushroom biome right below there. Or is it? Yeah, no, it is. And I will take this shark statue that I don't know that I have. Um, just for the sake of completionism, I think I'll dig down to that. So what is that up there? Oh, it's just a pot. I feel like I shouldn't be wasting time digging to this stuff, considering I have a Splunker Potion on. But I feel like I'll forget about it if I don't do this quickly. Do I have any dynamite on me? No, I don't. I'm pretty sure I took that out of my inventory a while ago. Freaking Nyx goes and digs right between the two chunks of Cobalt. Oh, great. This is a mushroom slash spider biome. Well, we're not necessarily going to pursue it right now, but I do like knowing that it is here. There are a few very useful situations for these. Oh, oh, okay. If you nope very often, this is where you'll be noping. We're just going to fill this water up with arrows and hope for the best. And bra Black Recluse. Alright, they're all dead. And one of them dropped... Oh, they dropped four spider fangs. That's actually quite a few. I think that's a good thing. I think we use those for that... Is it summoning armor or something? People have told me about there's a type of armor I want uh, that involves killing those. So I guess it's nice to know if I wanted to farm them. Oh, right. I can't get to that. That's the good stuff right there. I've got to go one more level deeper before I can get to that. We'll just check out the edges of this cavern. Alright, calm down. Crystal hearts. Who'd have thought there'd be multiple and I'm passing them all over? This is a big ol' expanse, isn't it? Alright, we've heavily deviated from our plan now. Uh, I did not expect to be this far over and away from our elevator. But I'm enjoying this little journey. Oh, could that be... I already can't remember the differentiation between one and the other. Is that the good stuff, or is that the level 3 stuff that I can't quite get to yet? We'll know in a second. If it's not the good stuff, this might be... Oh, it is. It's what we want. Uh, this might be just enough that I need to uh, sort out the next level... I keep wanting to say the next level cube of meat because I've listened to Ryan talk for so long. Whenever he says level, cube of meat is often the next few words out of his out of his mouth. Uh, but the next level pickaxe is what I'm talking about here. And I think from there, we should be pretty much on our way. Jeez, maybe I'll skip both armor sets. I haven't really died much. I've died once to some spiders because of some very poor planning. But I wouldn't say that's indicative of a massive amount of trouble that I'm having. Uh, that's the... That's the level 3 up there, I'm pretty sure. So honestly, if we could just go back and grab that next level pickaxe, maybe I should just come right back here and then farm those two bits out of the wall and just go right up to the next one. Let's see if we have enough here. Also, let's quickly do one of these. Oh, that's so freaking satisfying when that happens. Went from having a nearly completely full inventory to now almost empty. And actually, a couple of these things will uh, will sort properly once I put them into the right places. Uh, did the wizard... Oh, the wizard moved in already. I should probably just go ahead and grab his crystal ball. Grab his crystal ball. There it is. And we can toss that down on top of any open tables. I don't think there are any right now. Uh, maybe on the Goblin Tinkerer's Workshop? Will it fit there? Oh, it will. Alright, that's good. That gives us a Magic Powers or Increased Clairvoyance buff, just for clicking on it. And the other thing, and the reason that I made such a fuss about it and wanted it in the first place, is because of the thing I'm about to do. If I go ahead and grab all these stacks of arrows again. 
I've actually used a few out of that last stack, so I'll have to buy a couple more, but no big deal. Uh, this guy over here has them. Shop, please. Uh, how many do I need? I need, like, 200 and some. There we go. Alright, four stacks. Apparently I had one extra somehow, I don't know why. And we'll just go over here. And look at that. Endless quiver. Very weak knockback ammo. Got it. Now we don't have to ever buy arrows again. Hooray! And I can just sit here and shoot these ad infinitum if I want. Um, yeah, since there's unholy arrows, that's why that was reading as 15 ammo. I think it'll... Well, let's see, actually. If I shoot this... It takes from the infinite before it takes from whatever's not in your ammo pouches. Well, obviously, it wouldn't be taken from what's not in your ammo pouches. But just saying. That's the deal with that. I guess we'll reserve this top row for, like, various bullets. Well, this is all jester, unholy type of arrows. This is 12. So that actually fits right between these two. I like keeping these in order so I can see what I have very quickly at a glance. Drop that off. Uh, what was I going to do? Oh, I was going to see how many bars I could craft. Then I've gone and put them back away into here. 39. And, oh my goodness, there's so many things on this list right now. Um, are there more than even show up? I just want bars. There they are. I'm going to guess 18 should be enough to make the next level pickaxe. Oh, right, I've got to make the anvil too. Alright, well, that kind of sucks, but there's 12 of those gone, and we'll just kind of smash this up. I actually have extra anvils, so I'm not even probably going to put that into a chest. Actually, you know what I will, because it takes me one second, all I've got to do is this. And there goes my plan. So now I've only got six Orichalcum bars, Orichalcum bars left, and that means I'm going to have to go back in for a little bit more. Alright, shouldn't take too much longer. I think we'll be able to rush right through the stage fairly quickly. I say, well, actually, we'll wrap things up around here. I think a fairly productive episode. We got through a whole bunch of stuff. Skipped some armor. Got a nice big axe. It's pointy, too. Did you notice? 10 damage, plus 10%. And, uh, yeah, we'll go back in... Oh, wait. One more thing before we go, actually. I bought, or found, rather, two strange plants. Now that we're in hard mode, people have told me it, po it possibly could unlock more stuff. I don't know if that's the case, but we're going to try them out just to see if it's some new stuff. There we go. Two. We got Reflective and Shifting Sands. I already have had Reflective. I have not had Shifting Sands. Let's give that a quick try out. What do we have? Oh, weird. Makes me into, like, sand, actually. Uh, Mr. Sandman. It's very odd, boo 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 boo. I don't know what to do with this pod. This pod? This pod, I don't know what that means. All right, well, anyway, <laughs> that's what we're going to wrap up on. Thanks very much, everybody, for watching. As always, make sure you leave a like on the episode if you enjoyed it. I will be back again very soon with some more Terraria, and I hope you enjoyed it. See you later.